Today I'm doing a Premiere Pro CC tutorial for beginners. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing that you won't miss any future episodes from this topic. And we will get right into it just in a few moments. If you don't have an Adobe Premiere yet, you can pick up a free trial at Adobe website anytime. It is 30 days trial and uh, after that if you like it, if you'd like to work with this, it will be $20 a month. But if you're a student, I've mentioned that before, you can get a great discount. Okay, you're inside the Premiere Pro right now. So first thing you do, you want to create a project. You press, go to the left corner here, press file press new and put project there and let's name the project test 2 press ok it, it will open the Premiere Pro with different panels this tab it's editing tab so we're gonna cover the editing tab today and some features so you know how to create a project right now second thing you wanna do when you start editing is to create a sequence you go to the file again new and then you put sequence. You have some presets for DSLRs, so most of the time I shoot either 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. And let's just create 1080p 30 frames per second DSLR footage. Let's create this kind of sequence. And don't worry, you can always go here and sequence settings and change the sequence settings if you need to. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy you learn two things how to create a project and how to create a sequence so the third thing we're going to learn today is how to import your footage into the timeline and start editing the first thing you can do is just click the right button on your mouse and press import and just navigate to the place where the footage is that will import the footage directly into the bin and then from there you can just drag this into your timeline the other way is much simpler much easier you put your footage on the desktop, you click with the left button of the mouse and drag it right in here. When I'm going to try to put this on the timeline, it will give me a message. And would I like to change the sequence settings or I would like to keep the existing sequence settings. Let's say we will change the sequence settings and I will import everything right away. So just a game here. Let's mute this for a second and by the way you can mute your sound by pressing letter M here that's another thing you learned today it's pretty simple and let's do another thing that we can learn today is how to cut your footage that's an essential thing there's two ways of doing that first you can just grab the razor tool here on the panel press on this razor tool and the razor tool will appear instead of arrow there so you can just put this at any place where you want to cut and let's say we want to cut here and in order to make that disappear you press back on the arrow and that will do the trick if you will have razor tool all the time it will keep cutting so you don't want that to happen well that's the slow way but if you want to learn quick you want to edit faster simply just learn two hotkeys on your keyboard letter C is for razor tool and letter V is getting back to the arrow to move your stuff around timeline so again C for razor tool V getting back to normal default so that's how you cut your footage the last thing we're gonna learn today is how to separate your video track with audio track let's say you want to put your own soundtrack when you do that you right click your mouse and go here to unlink you unlink this too press this make sure it's highlighted in white and you can just press backslash and it will delete the audio track so now you can import your own soundtrack your own music and just simply replace it um, that's it for today we'll talk to you later and very important advice for the beginners just keep practicing take whatever footage you have and start editing so just polish your skills and keep doing it every day and you will succeed thank you for watching let me know if this tutorial was helpful for you and please comment below what other topics would you like me to cover in the future episodes. See you guys next time.